Around here, you know, there's two things we take very seriously. Food and security, and that's why I'd like to thank sponsor today's video being Simply Safe, 24-7 monitoring that is easy and affordable. And in fact, they're having their best sale of the year right now. Unfortunately, during the holidays, break-ins and theft goes way up. And that's where Simply Safe, an incredibly effective, easy to install, and reliable security system comes into play. The biggest thing I always find when keeping my loved ones safe is that security systems are always so complex to install, expensive fees for monitoring, and that is why Simply Safe is the exact thing you need. Quick, easy to install, and very affordable. And you can order online or over the phone to secure your home right now with around the clock monitoring for 50 cents a day. Simply Safe makes it really easy to secure your home, delivering motion sensors, security cameras, door and window alarms, like I will show you right now. And to see it in action, if we open up the window, a little sensor beeps, see it blinks, it identifies, it registers, we got the window open. It's been crazy easy to set up. I literally just take one of these pieces and just press the button at the bottom. And it automatically connect it, and then I just choose a name for it on the keypad. Super easy. You're able to control your whole home from your keypad, also from the phone app. And should there be an intruder or an event, Simply Safe will call the police. Around this time of year, where you not only have your usual valuables, but probably thousands of dollars in either presents and, of course, your loved ones, you gotta keep them safe. Get their award winning home security system that requires no contracts. And right now, you can get a free HD camera. Yes, that is right. You can get a free camera with your system using that link. So, like we said, guys, best deals of the year happening right now for this holiday season. So, definitely check out Simply Safe. Check out that link down below, guys. Come on, Simply Safe, Joel Hansen. Keep yourself safe, protect it, and I hope you have a lovely holiday season. Hey everybody, Joel Hansen here. Today we are outside Pico de Gallo, a restaurant just off the strip in Las Vegas, Nevada to do their big torta challenge. So there's a torta with like four-ish pounds of meat on it. It's a large variety of different meats and some vegetables. And of course it's freaking spicy. All the dang spicy challenges. I don't know how I end up doing all these on this trip, but this is a very spicy torta. So let's see what we can do uh, here with this. Reyna, here with my good friend Mr. Belaine, and we're all gonna do it today. So we're gonna have 23 minutes, yes, only 23 minutes to eat this, probably the four and a half-ish, maybe five pound torta, but I'm sure it will be good. I love Mexican cuisine. So let's go eat a torta, maybe get some new records. Records about 15 minutes by our good friend Mr. Heavy D, and I hope I don't burn and die. So let's go. All right, everyone, so we have our awesome looking torta cubano, cubano challenges. So it looks super, super forward to trying this delicious looking Mexican authentic dish. So let's dig on into this beautiful looking torta. Look at that thing, just look at it. Massive. Just look at it. And at that, let's get eating. Just look at it. Yeah, well, we'll do a countdown, how's that? And just look, looks delicious. Okay, everybody ready? Yeah. All right, so we'll get started here. So we'll say the count of five, four, three, Two, one, let's go. Good luck, y'all. Ooh, that's just tasty. Mm -hmm. Whoa, temperature hot, though. Dude, that's spicy too. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today I'm trying my first torta. So a torta, if you're not familiar like I was, is essentially a sandwich. Uh, kind of like a Mexican sandwich in this case, and I'm sure there's probably some other kinds of tortas as well, but this one was a Mexican torta. So there were a whole bunch of different kinds of meat on it. There was a beef, um, which was very tough and difficult to eat. There were um, like chorizos, kind of more like sausage-ish, there was uh, hot dogs, there was chicken, and something kind of like a ham, I, like some other kind of pork, I believe. Then you had a whole bunch of cheeses, you had some uh, lettuce, uh, some kind of vegetables, but then something that I did not really know going into it, or at least knowing how spicy it would be, but this was a spicy challenge. 
So when I first heard about this challenge, it's from my friend Mr. Heavy D, and let's just say he didn't. We, I didn't know it was spicy until basically we were doing it. And if I would have known how spicy this thing was, I might have gave it a second thought about going in. Um, so very very spicy. I believe it was a habanero sauce or paste, habanero paste they were putting on this, um, and there was definitely lots of it. Besides that, you only have 23 minutes to complete the challenge, so kind of a, a shorter and odd time limit, but that being said, um, there had been about five individuals who had completed it out of a large number of attempts, um, and definitely I'd say some of the harder part of the challenge, um, it being about, let's say, four and a half pounds in total, um, you kind of have a little bit of that time limit, again, only 23 minutes. Again, some of the meats are quite difficult to eat, um, so kind of a, a mixed difficulty for speed and size. Oh jeez, even jalapenos on this thing. We also thought that the torta was like four pounds in total, not just that there was four pounds of meat. So I know Blaine, for example, was a little more nervous when we found out that it was four pounds of straight meat and not a four pound total torta. Um, we did have some um, kind of additional salsas on the side. We had a uh, green salsa, a salsa verde, and then a more I guess I think it was like a habanero like it was a just like a red salsa but it was definitely really spicy um, we brought them for extra moisture but didn't use too much of the too many of them because everything was just so spicy as it is so we're all doing really well I'm not sure how many minutes in we are but well, three. Definitely all on pace to get that win. One thing I do have to mention is they had some uh, agua frescas or like some flavored waters, fresh waters, whatever you want to call them. Um, and man, they were delicious. They had like a pineapple one and they had a watermelon kiwi and both were just like exceptionally flavored. Blaine had one, Reina had one, both very, very, very delicious. Um, so they, they had some great testing, dr tasting drinks. So definitely try the agua frescas if you ever come here. Um, as like I said, they were absolutely exceptionally flavored. Um, at that, I believe that's pretty much all the information. So again, kind of this torta um, being difficult to eat, and then additionally only having 23 minutes. So definitely not the easiest challenge that we've done, um, but at that I'll let you get to the rest of it. Uh, hopefully we can all get some wins, all three of us, as we did not want to leave anybody behind. And then if you failed the challenge, I do believe it was $30. So with that, everybody, I'll let you enjoy the rest of it. Let's see what happens. Fingers crossed. And, uh, well, hey, I will say I do love Mexican food, and the flavors were quite nice overall. Um, very lightly seasoned, or at least what was flavored was kind of being dulled by that level of heat. Again, it was a lot spicier than I would have anticipated. But overall, um, pretty nice tasting. So yeah, let's get to the rest of the challenge. Let's see what happens and uh, hope you guys enjoy.
away. Very delicious challenge. Maybe somewhere about seven and a half minutes. Rain is down to just a bite or two. Blame is well over half done his first half of the sandwich. Just has the last bits and pieces he's going through there. So let's tune on in as they continue to destroy the challenge. Excuse me. We got about excuse me. 15 minutes left. And both are en route for their wins. Very spicy though, geez, so please, my mouth is burning. I didn't expect that. Ah. Done, rain is done as well. It's not vanilla salsa. Oh, okay. Spicy. I did it in seven and a half, she's about eight and a half. Uh, We've just been set for a bit. Your strawberry kiwi avocado is so good. The watermelon kiwi. Yeah, watermelon kiwi. My mouth is still burnt. That's like makes you like spicy. Do you guys need anything else? Nine and a half minutes left. He's doing absolutely great. Is he done now that's in his mouth or does he have to swallow that? He has to swallow it. Okay. You got one minute left, brother. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do it. So 22 and a half minutes, so we all got the win. That was excellent, really cool tasting item. Very, a little spicier than I thought, but good job, Blaine, good job, Miss Reyna. So everybody, until next time, say happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating, of course. Get yourself some good food, don't do what we do. So. I'm gonna have to do laundry again. <laughs> yeah, I have to do laundry again. <laughs>
on. Simply safe, Joel Hansen. Keep yourself safe, protected, and I hope you have a lovely holiday season.